we are using unsplash api to show all the images from this api but we have used this client id and it's very bad practice to have the client id in your actual SQL directly it should be inside env file so how you create a env file and how you can use a variable or you can say environment variable so yes you can create a file so that you need to right click and click on new file and create it i also have installed a advanced new file extension for this vs code so new file if you search for new file um, maybe you will get this one this is the one which is uh, advanced new file i have installed it okay so with the use of this i can say new file and now it's asking where i want to add this i want to add this inside the root so workspace root so it's just asking for the name and name is dot env and yeah it's created and when i save it you should see on the right side it's there but now how we can use this uh, environment variable here so let's try to write here un is splash underscore key is equal to and i can just cut it from here and paste it okay so whenever you have created the dot env file it's very very important to restart your server because when you restart the server then react actually gather all the information from the dot env file so it's very important to tell react that hey react i have added the dot env file and the same is true whenever you make any changes and in this dot env file okay so now it's restarted that's why it's opening the edge browser now how we can use this environment variable inside this inside your application so it's very easy uh, before going there i can just undo here and i can show you how you can get that so you just need to say process dot env and let's try to console log these things okay so it's compiling and it's done now open the dev tool and here we can have the object and now this object is holding various things first is node environment which is development obviously public url empty and other things are also empty but the point is we cannot see our new newly created environment variable which is unsplash underscore key that's because every time you want to use environment variable in react it should be prefixed with react underscore app then underscore okay so once again because it we have changed something inside dot env we need to restart the server the server is restarted let's once again go and this time you can see we have the react underscore app underscore unsplash underscore key and that's that's how you need to add the environment variable now since we know how we can use the environment variable now i can delete this console log and convert this into a template string like this using a backticks which is just above the tab and on the left of uh, numeric one then here i can remove this key and i can just use dollar this curly braces and i can say process dot env dot and the react app uh, unsplash underscore url cool so let's now go here and refresh this page so you can see it says undefined so i think i have misspelled something i can just copy unsplash it is correct okay so at its key actually i have used the url so that's the point now you can see uh, now it's working perfectly fine so this is how you have moved the key also you can move this uh, api endpoint to the variable and vomit variable so once again i cut it out from there and i can say on a splash url this will be this one photos and then once again it should be something like this 
but with a URL. So now let's just verify this and if I go here we can see we have some issue and the issue is if I refresh once again you can see this is undefined this is undefined because remember I said whenever you make changes in .env file you need to restart your server so let's restart the server and then after we will able to use this and after restarting yeah you can see everything is working absolutely fine so now we have used the environment variable and everything is now inside this env file because suppose we later want to change the images from unsplash to something else so we don't have to change everywhere wherever we are using the axios we just need to change the variables on this environment file and then we are ready to go